Manhole cover becomes fastest man-made object. On August 27, 1957, a test called Pascal B was conducted at the Nevada test site. During the test, a deep well was dug in the ground, after which a charge was lowered into it, which was filled with two tons of concrete. The hole at the top was covered with a metal lid 10 centimeters thick. When everything was ready, the bomb was detonated. To the surprise of the experimenters, the concrete plug instantly evaporated, turning into a cloud of hot gas, which made the well a kind of very large caliber gun barrel. The projectile, as you might guess, turned out to be a hatch cover. Dot dot it tore off from the earth with incredible force, soared into the sky, and disappeared from sight. No one would probably have paid any attention to this fact, and everything would have been limited to studying the details of the main event, that is, the nuclear explosion. If this action had not been recorded by a high-speed camera that caught the takeoff of the hatch cover, the recording device shot 1,000 frames per second, and the future record holder was only on one of them. This was enough to establish the lower limit of its speed. It was not easy to do this. Scientists had to make rather complex calculations, but in the end, one of them announced that the hatch cover reached a speed six to seven times greater than the first cosmic speed. This is more than 200,000 kilometers per hour, or 56 kilometers per second. There are serious disagreements regarding whether this projectile ended up in space. Some argue that it should have burned up when passing through the atmosphere, while others believe that it simply did not have time to do so. In any case, the hatch cover was never seen again. If it really did end up in space, it would be the first artificial object ever sent there by man. Today, it is difficult to imagine a man-made object that could fly through the Earth's atmosphere at such an incredible speed.